Born to a family of musicians and son of world-renowned flute player Jose Fajardo Sr., it's an honor for Hialeah Park to have Jose Fajardo Jr. lined up for a concert at our Fountain Terrace. So Jose, tell me what it was like to grow up in a family of musicians. Wow. Gigi, it's, it's kind of incredible because we're all like um, against each other, like, like a competition almost. Uh -huh. My sister and I are always <laughs> in competition, although my, with my father, uh, my father was always very strict as far as music is concerned. He was like old school. So it was very, um, you know, demanding. We had very demanding times and stuff like that to dedicate to music. Talk to me about the transition that you've made from being a musician to then following up with being a band leader and then now you're exploring singing as well. That's a lot of trajectory. How did that happen? Yeah, it is. Actually, I was a musician. Well, I still am a musician, but I was a musician for a long time. I was a Latin Valero for many, many bands mm -hmm. as, as well as with my father. And when my father passed away in 2001, um, I had to keep his band, so at that point in time, I went ahead and transitioned from just a, a, a side musician to a band leader. Mm -hmm. And then throughout time, what happens is with the singers, they come to the band, they think they're stars, and they leave. So then, <laughs> <laughs> so then, I had to kind of transition my, you know, transition myself into being a singer because I don't want to keep training singers. So I said, you know what? I'll do it myself, and I did it, and I recorded, and a lot of people liked it. So What's that saying? If you want something done right, you gotta do yeah, it yourself. yourself yes. There you go. <laughs> that works. That works out just fine. We're all familiar with your father's career as a world-renowned flute player, but you went into percussion. Was that like World War III, or was your dad like, ah, you can play whatever you want? How did no, that work out? Actually, um, I grew up as a, as a timbalero. I started playing congas at the age of three, mm -hmm. and then I played timbales at the age of four. I, I don't know. I just kind of grew with me. Uh -huh. um, I did play flute though. I played flute. It had to be in there. There's no <laughs> way you have a dad who plays flute like your dad did, and he didn't try to like, come on, man, yeah, come no, on, you gotta no. play the flute. <laughs> no, I did play flute in high school. Uh huh. In high school, I played the second flute chair for uh, for our concert band. Nice. I got it, yeah, I started getting lightheaded. Was, <laughs> you know? So I kind of said, you know what? I'm gonna stick to my percussion and my timales and all that other good stuff, and we just kept it there. So talk to me about your new song, No Tiene Rival. Well, No Tiene Rival comes out of an album from Fania um, in the 1980s, early 80s, de Javier Vázquez. And it was La Tres Flauta, que estaba mi papá, um, Cubila Garreta, y el maestro Johnny Pacheco. So I took that song, No Tiene Rival, which is Charanga at that, point, at that time, and made it into a salsa. Very, very danceable. Check it out. And you guys can actually enjoy that song live right here at Hialeah Park. We have become the most amazing spot for free concerts and you can enjoy Jose Fajardo Jr. right here at our Fountain Terrace on March 19th, starting at nine o'clock, so come on out and join us. From Champions, I'm Gigi Diaz for Hialeah Park.